Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com and in today's episode in the 10 Minute Gardener we're doing an update a month after we created this no dig straw bale bed. If you're not already subscribed to me at Learn How to Garden, click on the link above this film, it takes you to the website, pop in your email address, that means every time we do a film we can let you know, we can give you access to our free monthly newsletter where I cover subjects that I don't cover in the normal run of the mill growing films. Well, to say this has been a success is an understatement. We created this bed in under half an hour, five weeks ago. And then I decided that what I would plant in it is four courgettes, two patty pan squash, and a couple of winter squash. And look at it. I look like I'm being overwhelmed by it. And four weeks in, we are cropping courgettes. This particular variety is grown mainly in Italy for the flowers, for stuffing, but I've found it produces massive amounts of these small, incredibly tender courgettes. It also means that I'm getting a lot of courgettes, therefore you have to be very, very original with the recipes. And I love grated courgette, it makes a fantastic frittata is one of the things. Uh, I do slice courgettes with a vegetable slice, the type you get for cheese, great on a barbecue. But one of my favourite things is I make a courgette and wilted spinach risotto with fresh pesto. Worth looking on the website for the recipe, great way to use courgettes. And I'll just come up to the front of this bed, if we can follow me round here. Because the other courgette I grow is a real Italian speciality. And it's these little crookneck ones. Again, sublime taste of these. One of those rare little things in Italy. Um, Italy's a strange country in some ways. Uh, it's only been a country about 150 years since Garibaldi put it together. And they're so regional. And what is great about Seeds of Italy as a company, you get access to all those regions. Whereas if you travel through Italy, you'll find that in a particular region, they'll only have their specialities. And in the next region, they have their specialities. It's like I never cease to be amazed when I go to southwest France, you can't find basil. You know, they just don't grow it. There you have salad and, you know, you, you, when you have a tomato salad, it comes with parsley. Go over the border and, of course, you get the classic mozzarella, tomato and basil salad. Um, but this, as a bed, could have all sorts of things grown in it. I chose to grow courgettes to show you for two reasons. One, to show you how quickly it grows, and two, these take huge amounts of water, but this isn't water, this just has rain on it. And this has now not had any water since it was constructed for two and a half weeks. If you compare it to the potatoes, although they are coming to the end of their life, they're looking quite sorry for themselves, but they are going over these early potatoes, and they now need digging up in the no-dig potato bed. But in this no-dig straw bale bed, we are producing huge amounts of courgettes. There's a couple of patty pans that are ready, and the actual winter squash in the centre, which is this slightly paler leaf, are already setting the squash. They are looking tremendous. Oh, just a sec, we can see some down here. And this will go like a triffid. What I'll probably do is stop some of the ones coming out when they've got two or three squash on, because otherwise it'll just get bigger and bigger and it won't put its effort into growing some of those winter squash big enough. So once you've got a couple of squash uh, or pumpkins on the vine, snip it off, put the end of the vine into the compost heap and there you go. I just love this, it's so architectural. And that's Mark at Learn How to Garden saying thanks a lot for watching, I think I'll go make a risotto. <laughs>